Upon completion of the schematic design or the design development wizard, users will be directed to the detailed interface. The eQuest detailed interface is very powerful, but as a result, it can be a little confusing. Let's start by keeping it simple. The detailed interface is broken down into modules. The default module that's selected is the building shell. Starting with this tab, 2D Geometry, we can see an overhead view of the building. If we go to 3D Geometry, we can move the building around by holding the control key and clicking the mouse, so we can adjust the view. You can right click on any portion of the building and select properties to view the individual properties about that particular component. In this case, we're looking at the west window. Here, we can try to make changes, but these changes cannot be implemented until we change the mode to the detailed edit mode, which we'll do so now. We switch to detailed edit mode, and now the component tree tab will be displayed. Please note that any changes made here will not be applied if we go back into any of the wizards. So, we can move the building around, right click on any surface, and access the respective surface properties and change them here. There is also a spreadsheet and a summary tab. Another module that we can look at is the internal loads module. Here, we can right click on particular parts of the building and bring up the properties as well. There is also a waterside HVAC module, which is useful for viewing things like chill.